Hello YouTube and welcome back in to some Let's Play Civilization 6 where we are prepping for war number three. I mean, you don't have to play Persia as warmongery, but you also, you know, you also can. And it's pretty good. It's pretty fun. Yeah, maybe we don't mess with them. We just try to break in through the mountains here. I think I like that. Uh, yep, just a mine there now. Okay. There's you, I'm not sure, man. You might want to Google it, bud. I don't know how to start the groups on Twitch. Okay. Um, we can grow. We grow in 18 turns. Taj is good. Can go actually out here? That's interesting. Certainly we need a few more muskets. How many muskets do we need is the real question. And then we want to finish this off and go right to nationalism. So we're at nationalism in seven. Can declare war in four. So that's pretty good. Ten of eight housing, my goodness. Hmm. I think it's a real thing, Themis. I think it's the same person. Just someone asking for help. It's okay. We welcome that here. Let's do a quick count. We have four immortals left and two or six muskets. So we need one of those is new. So it's four and five. So we really have nine muskets that we need and we already have one. So we need eight more. Oh, it's all good, Themis. You're good, buddy. Also a fair question. Doubt anyone's gonna sell us. Do they right? do stuff to your butt? Because I could certainly use. Do you this get from paid you. more if they do stuff to your butt? No. It's just fine. straight up I'm not in. willing to sell it. I get it. Harold, thank you so much for the ten months, my friend, and welcome back into the shop. Good to have you here. Why? We, why do we need eight more? Uh, because we are going to core and uh, core them up. So we're gonna take all of our nice promoted four promo, three promo uh, musket slash. Uh, immortals that we've been working with and then we're going to make them more powerful with cores. That's the plan anyways. Alright, these guys are finally pop seven. I've been waiting on that for a while because we want to get this theater square. That's plus four. Holy site and a campus. I guess this is a pretty good um, paradise then. It has extra culture on it. We got rid of an adjacency for this campus, but I'd, I'd rather chop things out, I think. Am I rushing towards infantry? Not really. And Durgy, thanks for the follow, man. Welcome, welcome. Do that for now.
Build potato. Um, I'm not sure if we need potato palace. I wouldn't mind it, but I want to get these districts going first, uh, especially since we have extra great people points from our suzerain. Get our districts and our buildings up. We're starting to push culture pretty hard. Astronomy, whatever is contrary to nature is contrary. Yeah, I don't know that I'm beelining infantry. I also don't have the oil. I, I really don't like infantry now. The fact that they need oil is, is brutal. Because, y like, you have to not only get here, but then also have, like, this stuff done. You, like, before you can even use this unit, you might need to be all the way in plastics. And that's really awkward. Hey, hey, Hogue. How you doing, buddy? Uh, there, there are several more civs to meet, I believe. First writer of the day. Seems good. Gonna go ahead and use him in here where the Pingala is, although not quite for three turns. Eh, I'll just I'll just skip him. I want him there, I think. Scotland's gone. Um what do we have? We had what five people? You're right. One, two, three, four, five. You're eh, no, so I think that's it. Yeah, one more sieve to meet. You're right, you're right, you're right. One more sieve to meet. Potato here would be good. No spot for Kilwa. Let's just do that. Let's get those trade routes going. Trade routes are very important for a culture game. And I tend to not prioritize them properly. There's one super advanced unit. This is quite the paradise. Mm. Add in production. Who owns you? Because it's next to the city center, I think that makes sense. One hundred fifty science, one hundred eighty-one uh, culture. Turn one thirty-nine is pretty impressive. Yeah, that's usually doable if you take over a sieve or two. In my experiences, anyhow. Um, yeah, I'm kind of a bad person. Yeah, he's likely going to have better defenses now. It's going to be tough to break through here. What kind of walls do you have? Ancient and medieval? You're ready. We need a lot more niter. We should have gotten that online f uh, quicker. That's kind of my bad. That's pretty good theater square. Maze, you can you can harass me all day long, buddy, but be nice to my mods. More things won't be pretty. See how flared my nostrils are? Do you see how serious I'm being? Um <laughs> Let Atlas troll the mods lol.
me being scary doesn't really work. <laughs> uh, yeah, believe it or not, I, 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 I don't, I'm not really, not really a mean person. <laughs> don't really yell much. You were intimidated? Nice, good. <laughs> Grievances against the chat. Oh, that's funny. Hey, Sushi Smells. How you doing? Can't really do more for these guys. Let's just get a university. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Not gonna lie, word of the day isn't hasn't really been consistent. That's probably mostly on me. Kidoki. Ooh. Oh, this could have been their theater square. Rats. I mean, this isn't bad. There's a paradise here, so this is going to get better. If I put it here... Doesn't really make sense. I'm just gonna put up a commercial hub there on the river. Playing Germany anytime soon? I don't know when Germany, it's, it's, we have an order. I haven't figured out how to play Germany properly. Man, Germany's pretty fun. I mean, industrial zones are so good. And they get a unique one. What's up, Tifer? how you doing? That's better off as a mine. We may have a lot of fixing up this world. I don't care at all about appeal since we missed out on Earth Goddess. So our uh, our park and seaside resort game may need some uh, effort. Nice, Tifer. Good luck back at university this fall. Hey, Freakso. How you doing? Next turn, we can get these. This is a pretty good little farm triangle for them. As a young boy, my brother Nobunori studied the... Been binging the Gilgamesh and Dido Let's Plays? Yeah, dude, I'm glad you're enjoying them. That's exciting. That's exciting. Worst builder management ever. Jungle. If I heard Mark Twain's quote on offering a prayer for the devil, it's quite interesting. Share it. I don't know. I don't know it. Yes, this is also for YouTube, Freakso. So, hi. Hi, Mom. I'm on camera. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I didn't get a chance to do the uh, to do the Tamar clip, the Georgia clip uh, yet, but uh, hopefully in the next few days, probably by next week. I don't know that I'm going to get to it tonight either. I have to like go shopping and stuff. What that? Colossus. Thanks, mods. Thanks for the new word of the day. You guys are the best. Nationalism in one now. That cannot be tested. There we go. 160, 210. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And then nationalism next. 
Yeah, it's going to be a pretty brutal war yet again. Huh. That is interesting. That is an interesting quote, Themis. <laughs> exactly, Thalia. Hey, Irish Raider, how you doing? All right, let's finish off printing now. We have our two universities, and we will increase the small, modest amount of tourism that we have from our book. Singular at the moment. It'll, it'll be plural in a moment. Out of money, or out of uh, niter. Next turn, I can get two of these guys upgraded. It's going to be a process. This is going to be a process. I think we are good on money now. I am going to go for a wonder then. And I'm going to try to see if we can get a Taj. It's next to this theater square. It's pretty darn good. Yeah, indeed, Themis. So we have art and archaeological museums already. Could use another round of builders, if I'm being honest. So let's commit to that in our policies next next turn. That's a heck of a floodplains. That would have been an amazing great bath. Now, I don't think we have to wait for all of our units before we start the war. But I do want to wait at least one more turn here for cores and armies. New grass. You don't even know where to... That can be a pretty good um, park right here, actually. Because we can throw that down. And then it's getting extra appeal from three sources. It's pretty good. This is rough, though. We might want to get rid of that uh, jungle. I don't think so, Freak So, but I honestly don't remember. Enjoy your lurking, Sassy. Thank you for being here. Move Liang to the build the Builder City. Um, that's. Pro I still want Liang here. So the reason I want Liang here is that it's centralized, and I can still faith buy. I can faith and gold buy a couple more, and then send them off. I think a little bit more quickly than down here. Although we do have better roads as Persia, I don't have I don't have Sterling really tied into it super well. So I think I still like Liang being centralized, especially as the game goes on. Uh, I have not talked about getting any bombards yet. We're also going to need that. I think that's the first siege tower I've ever gotten in Civ 6. And Bird, I agree, man. No, I'm about to kill you again there, buddy. It is nationalism which engenders nations. All right, we have much and more to do. Um, I could see trying to prioritize another another governor here in a second and get black marketer so we can finish off our muskets. That's a thought. Where's our next one? It's in civil engineering. I think that's actually a good idea. So it's a weird provision promotion, but we're just going to a black marketer.
All right, so policies that we need specifically this turn. We do want the builder policy back in there. We might have to drop aesthetics for a second. I'm not sure. We need... This. Where's retinues? Here it is. So we need that. Does black market apply to upgrades? No, but we still need to produce several uh, muskets before we're before we're done. Um, maybe this temporarily. And I think our gold's good enough. I can go back to influence points for a little while. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so now... We get a four promo musket here, which is crazy good. And then these two can have can be best friends in a second as well. So that's relatively cheap for some science there. Then we can go get bombards if we need to. I don't have any coastal cities, do I? I do have one. There's no way it reaches anywhere, though. Hmm. Disappoint. Yeah, we'll declare war this turn. Stan. That's a good call. Um, why do people consolidate their units? You mean use cores and armies? world first core don't forget our turn 50 save thank you jerksies i appreciate that like the two tower symbols so why why core your units um so we have a musket uh core here that's 65 strength and this musket core is 55 strength so you get you get 10 extra strength on a unit and what really matters is like it's a stronger like it's technically less power off the board right two Two 55 strength units, presumably stronger than a 65 strength unit. But when you consider the one unit per tile, um, and you consider the fact that like, you just kind of win, want to win those fights, uh, having the stronger unit is actually better. It also reduces the maintenance. You pay the same maintenance for uh, the core as you do with just a regular unit. Um, all right, what else do we need to do this turn? We're almost out of niter. We have these guys. I'm only going to core up with these like new units. So that we can get the most bang for our buck there. And then we declare our war. Yeah, she's she's never gonna like me in this type of a game. And that's okay. Guys are newly minted. Hey, he's got a Keshig. Okay. Anything else we can do?
probably about it. Where's my general here? I'm gonna bring the general down here and catch these guys up, I think. Tamra's been in all the Tots games? I think she has, yeah. She's like the new Persia. I want the science there, I think. Our culture's in good shape. All right, I said I wanted a round of builders and I meant it. Dido has an army? Yeah. I mean, so did Genghis, and then uh, and then he went to war with us. Or vice versa. I don't remember which. I don't remember the order of things. Ooh, and he's got cavalry. Yeah, this is going to be a spicy one. What gunpowder did for war, the printing press has done. This will indeed be a spicy one. You always know which unit you're going to end up with. It's whatever one has more exper experience. So when you're promoting like this, you know that you can end up there if you're ever confused at, like, when you merge your units, how that works. Only have seven Niter. Finish this off. Builders. Builders. I'm going to say it has to be 10 turns or less for me to switch to it. Three turns on this makes sense. Why builders? We just need way more builders before we're done with this game. And I want to chop out more things. I think I'll need a couple bombards. I he So he has medieval walls, and I built a siege tower. So I'm hoping that the answer is no. Wow, these trade routes suck, huh? So now you're caught up to these guys. I think those guys will be safe even with the cavalry. Not sure though. For sure, Susa needs a builder. There's basically never a wrong moment in the game to get builders, in my opinion. Rip. That's a rip. Oh, hello. Guess where we're spending our favor. We want to make ours stronger rather than take away from his because he had probably he likely has a variety of units. We've seen Keshigs, we've seen uh, we've seen the cavalry already. This would be really good for us to. What do we have the most of? Silk. Let's find out. Uh, no, 
this is fine. Resources. We have the most of nothing? Okay. <laughs> Weird, Atlas. Weird. So I guess this doesn't matter. We won't we won't really put a lot of favor into this, but this one we will for sure. Five combat strength to melee units. Please and thank you. I might have saved that musket that I, I died. I was a little overzealous. I didn't I didn't expect that uh, pushback up top. Having seen Our units are pretty pretty far apart. But we got this. And no amenities for truffles? That's fine. How do you feel about selling Diplo Favorite to the AI for gold feels broken? I think it's an early gold advantage. I think you can definitely use it. You can use it. It's a little cheesy. I don't know. I, I, it, it's, it's worth something, right? Like, it has to be worth something. I, I'm okay with it. I really am. Wow, that's disgusting. I feel better about Siege Towers now. Buy a good bit. Seems crazy. You can have 200 gold per turn on turn 100. Yeah. Yep. Two musketmen almost took that down. One musketman almost took that down. I don't even have an attack on this guy. Just this. With his double attack. One musket core. Just one. Do that for error score. They do finally get this. It might mess us up later, but probably not. Probably not a ton. Should be okay. Is there an easy way to tell uh, what level of cities a wall have has? Just mouse over it. If you mouse over it, see ancient, medieval, and Renaissance. I don't think there's anything that counters Renaissance ones, right? Once you're once you're past the siege towers. Yeah, that is true, Jay. And and Diplo victory is a thing now. Planes. <laughs> Let me give them a mine. These guys don't die. <laughs> See, you don't even get to keep the walls, though. What do you have? Also as Renaissance. Okay, so we probably will need bombards for several of these. All right, later on, Freakso. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Cyrus seems pretty good. 
Yeah. Yeah, he seems alright. I think we're okay with Persia. What are your walls? Just ancient. This is the Machu Picchu city. Only Alex is better? You like Alex better than Persia? Really? Kanan looks like Africa? Yeah, it does a little bit. Ooh, boy. Yikes. That's a little bit yikes. Yeah, he is a tough, tough opponent. Check this out. Oh, he only has plus three on that. So, wait. Does he not have a trading post with us now? I think his bonus went away. this. Switch tower should work up there, I think. Okay. Coastal city, 14 production. Oh my goodness. Why? Have some production there, friend. A little bit better. Let him build wonders. Wait, what's, what wonders are you building? Oh, Huey? Uh, Huey would be... No, not on this map. Huey kind of sucks. Our pantheon is culture from, from plantations. Something on the ground? What's he building on the ground? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if he wants to build me Forbidden City, I am all for it. Okay. A little bit of damage. Is this is this us? Nope. Forbidden City's probably 100 turns. You're probably right. Massive shield. Improvement You're probably right. Roads. But the crooked roads without it. All right. Um, so where are we at? Angry Dino looks like a cat that's had a bath. <laughs> Yeah, you get to vote if it's against you. That's true, Myth. You're right. Thank you, Jerxies. That is perfect. Yeah, if you guys remind me a turn early. Good call. Probably the easiest way to do it. Mm 
<laughs> Thanks, everybody. Uh, let's get one more upgrade in. Or are we out of immortals? We're out of immortals. Work internet's back up just for 160p. Is it nice to have resolution options these days, though? I bet it is. So we're done with these forever. Let's get that in there. And I think get our culture back like that. Two twenty one. Uh and then is it worth it? Is it worth it to just start building muskets here? I, I think we lose the war if we don't. Like I, I realize I've sunk a bunch of production into this wonder. You have this. All right, so instead of instead of 20, it requires four. So that's fantastic. We like that a lot. The city has a lot of chops. I can't move Magnus right now, though. So many child like we could just get Forbidden City here, I bet. Although I kinda wish we would have done this differently, if that's gonna be the case. Um yeah. Yeah, we need bombards too. I, I'm I'm more interested in coring up all these units so they don't die, and then we'll we'll bring in some reinforcements, I think. Let's do the theater square first. So that was worth it. You didn't finish any of your districts? <laughs> what? <laughs> what a bad city. Uh, let's go unlock this then. I don't know that we're ever getting to it, but yeah. It's my general setup with spies. Um, we use spies in the Dido game to steal great works, and that's pretty much the only thing I'll be doing here. Either stealing money or stealing great works. If I can find the time to prioritize the production on them. Right, it's a bit of a weird buy. But I, they, they need to work something that's good. Use a builder too. Start building knights and the upgraded horses and build knight and use the knighter for bombards. It's only four per. Like, it's really not that bad. Because, like, we have what? We have. We have three cities that the bombards matter for. Oh yeah, it's Labor Day weekend, isn't it? You out of here, Mr. T? Thanks. Thanks for stopping in, buddy. We'll see you later.
Say that this policy that gives you faster spy missions is the best gold per turn card in the game. You, you very well may be right on that, Sean. Certainly a, an interesting one. Um, okay, so how does this work? I, I'm not overriding this. I know I put the theater square here, but it'll work out. So, um, St. Basil's Theater Square and then Double Commercial Hub. Paradise on that. I guess. Plus four theater square, just in the mountains. Casual plus four theater square. Okay. I love Machu Picchu. I never have it either. So it's so nice. I could have done this differently. Yeah, it, may, it, may, it just completely changes the way you plan your empire. It's so cool. Such a good wonder. Has an encampment in a commercial hub. It's not like my favorite city in the world, but we're just going to keep it. <laughs> Twiddle your thumbs as you admire the plus four theater square. It's so good. It's so good. That builder's been got. Uh, I'm going to send this builder way up here towards the front line. Fascinated by who the last Civ might be. Let's figure it out. They have no writer points. They have three scientist points. Oh, they're... Wait. They're two unmet players? Yeah, there are two unmet players. Okay, let's figure it out. Come on. Two engineer points. So not really engineer points. A little bit of admiral from one of them. And four great general from the other. No scientist either? Okay. <laughs> Who do the religions belong to? And what are they? That's Scythia Catholic and Islam. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be Harold and Guitara. That's my guess. Although I probably would have met Harold by now. Okie dokie. Alright, this is dead to us, right? Unless it's useful here? Yeah, it is useful there. Are we keeping this city? I mean, I guess. Two plantations. Gives us citrus and tobacco. Citrus and tobacco. We have tobacco. We don't have citrus, so we have to keep it just for that. Uh, it was an eight-player map minus one, I think is what it was, because we did standard minus one. It's 
Ten more minutes till Anno's done. Nice, nice. Get out of here, General. It's turned 150. Thank you, friends. <laughs> Thanks, chat. Thanks, you guys. Thank you, Thalia. Thank you, Jerxies. Thank you, everybody who's thinking about it and reminding me you guys are the best. Standard minus one. In, yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's the ticket. Calling Coupe is one of the other civs. Okay. All right. I like it. Get your bets in now. Get your bets in now. We just made our save. We're all good. Uh, and frankly, we need to end the video with the turn 150 save. So thank you so much if you're watching over on YouTube. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying the game. This is certainly an interesting one. It's definitely like the never-ending war, which generally isn't my favorite thing, but culture is. So we, move, we, we, we blend some of, the, some of the weird with some of the good. So thank you so much for being here, and don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic. We'll see you later.